it takes a village okay don't be scared like hey girl teamwork makes the dream work <laughs> Well, it's your girl Shayna Gabrielle and I am back again with another video as you can tell by the title this video is gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna be sharing with you all my tips and tricks with creating a YouTube channel if you haven't already make sure you hit that like comment and subscribe button down below and don't forget to put on your push notifications so you can get alerts every time I drop a new video now I know you're like, girl, you do not have a thousand bajillion followers, so how can you talk about how to start a YouTube, what you should do, because I only got like 500 followers. But I am a really good um, self-taught editor, and everybody talks about creating a YouTube channel, but they'll make the channel, but then don't post anything. If you are really you know, interested in creating a YouTube channel, I completely support, I say go for it. But just be aware that creating a YouTube channel and constantly giving out quality content, that is a lot of work. Not that you can't do it, but just know it's a lot of work, okay? Second, consistency is key. I am speaking for myself. I am starting to get better at posting. Well, not I'm starting, I am better at posting, okay? I try to post um, every single week and I have noticed that I have started to slowly but surely gain followers in a manner that I'm not used to. All it takes is that one video to blow up and then you're, you're lit, you know what I'm saying? It is really good to have a niche on um, YouTube. If you don't know what that is, it's just a hobby, something that you're really good at, something in which you have a target audience that is going to watch you. Again, I like to have my main focus be lifestyle, and then of course I do fashion, hair, beauty on the side, okay? If you notice that one video has done way, way, way better than another, then try to stick in that lane. You know, people seem to receive that video well, so, Keep it consistent. So that's just some basic off the brain things I can think of that are really important before even getting into the tips and tricks, okay? So I wrote everything down on my phone, so don't be like, why are you looking down, girl? So with things you're gonna need, I have a Amazon link that I will put in the description box down below, and it has all of my basic YouTube essentials that I personally have used and purchased. So if anything I've mentioned in this video, you're not sure where to look or references as to how much it's gonna cost, just hit that link down below and you can definitely either purchase it or get an idea of like what, what are the things I'm talking about and where you can get them from. So just keep that in mind. The camera I currently use is the Canon G7X. It is a well-known vlogging camera. Um, I will eventually get a new one and you know expand on lenses and things and such like that. But this camera, I have had it for about three years and it has done me well. So yes, you're gonna need a camera, that's super important. Um, also, you're gonna need SD cards. If you don't know what an SD card is, I'll show you. Okay, so this is an SD card. This is what it looks like. But yes, um, you're gonna need an SD card. I have about four SD cards. I can't find one right now, but I highly recommend getting a packet that um, allows you to be able to place all your SD cards in one place so that it doesn't go missing. Um, it's also important to have a little camera bag. I have my personal camera bag that I have all my goodies in. Also, uh, I highly recommend investing in a ring light. I currently am using a ring light right now. I love having a ring light. I just feel like every time I put the ring light on and then start recording, it just elevates my video. It just brightens it up. Love a ring light. My ring light was $100. I've had it for about two and a half years. It is a really good investment for having a YouTube channel for sure, okay? point blank period. And the ring light that I got, it came with a attachable like holder for the camera. So it allows you to put the camera on the ring light. So it just like, it just does something to the video, okay? You don't have to have a ring light because 
you know, I've seen people, they just use the natural sunlight, but that just gets a bit challenging when the sun starts to move or the sun starts to set. So I just get a ring light, you know, and that's that. All right, now let's get into the editing softwares that I use. Um, I initially started with iMovie. If you have an Apple product, an Apple um, Mac, of any sort iMovie does come with that so when I first started YouTube and I didn't feel like paying for an editing software I did use iMovie and it works don't get me wrong it gets the job done but if you're really into like just having crazy animations and effects and transitions that's not necessarily the best editing software to use it gives you the basic bare minimum and you can definitely start with that highly recommend that's a great um, place to start with learning how to edit YouTube videos. So that is one editing software and it is free, like I said, with a Mac. The second one, which is the one I'm currently using, is Final Cut Pro. When I got it, I think it was maybe $300. Keep in mind, YouTubing is a little expensive. Okay, I'm not even gonna front. Like, to invest in this, uh, it does cost a lot. So yes, I used Final Cut Pro. It was about three, $400, I can't remember but they did have like a six month trial so i highly recommend to use that first to see if you like the editing software kind of get acquainted with it and then if you do like it make that purchase and then once you purchase it's a one-time purchase and you can have it forever so that's really nice and it does update yearly and like you know periodically so that's good um and then the top tier like the elites use this editing software and that is going to be adobe premiere I graduated but I was a communications major and I did have to use Adobe Premiere for my um, filmmaking class so I was able to get the opportunity to learn how to edit on that software um, it is a bit on the more expensive side I'm not sure how much um, Adobe Premiere costs you're trying to really go with the crazy graphics and just being able to add animations and stuff definitely check out Adobe Premiere um some things that I have learned over the course of uh, you know editing you have to teach yourself like YouTube is the best place to learn how to chop up videos and how to add effects and how to add transitions and how to make your fonts you know just pop and just all these different cool things if you have a question nine times out of ten there's going to be a video on YouTube showing you how to do it um green screen okay like I'm dropping gems right now and I don't even want to share Green screens are your best friend. Okay, especially if you have Final Cut Pro. Now I'm speaking with Final Cut Pro. Using a green screen will really elevate a video. Like right now, I'm gonna have a green screen with the VHS and the recording right now. Boom, show it off. Okay, these are two green screens on top of each other and it's giving you old vintage VHS while it looks like we're recording on a camcorder. Hello. And where did I find this green screen, you ask? We'll turn it off now. YouTube! I go on YouTube to find green screens for anything. I've had um, videos where I've had money falling down. That's a green screen. I've had a glitch transition happen. That's a green screen. Uh, whenever you see me add the VHS, or like I just said, the recording, green screen. There are green screens for anything. I've had rain coming down, green screen. like. A green screen basically is gonna be a video where it's obviously a green screen and then it's just got whatever effect or illusion or object on the uh, actual video playing or animating or whatever. And basically you're gonna go to the keyer, um, it's K-E-Y-E-R, you go to the keyer effect and you put that over the video and it needs to be a green screen. I think it's either green or blue, but it, I normally do green screens and when you put that keyer effect on the green screen, it just does something like mm, it just I was so happy when I found out about green screens and a lot of people don't know about them because they really can bring your video to a 5 to a 10 okay that is definitely a tip I don't want to share but I'm being nice so I'm gonna share uh, I also like to use uh, packages like transition and editing packages my boyfriend put me on to this website it's called red giant um, it's either Red Giant or Maxon. They kind of change the, I don't know. Either type in, I'll have a link down below to uh, the actual package that I've used. Um, but it is Red Giant and it is gonna be the universe package. 
Uh, recently, I haven't been able to kind of use it, but in previous videos I have, and it works amazing. Um, I highly recommend if you really want to bring your video to a 10 and you want to add crazy effects and transitions that are not in the Final Cut Pro software, you can definitely find different packages online. I'm just speaking on Universe because that is what I've used personally. Um, it did have like a monthly fee, so keep in mind nine times out of 10 when you get a package package you got to pay for it but um there are so many different packages that you can find um also uh if you don't like the fonts that are in you know final cut pro there are so many different websites that have fonts that are for free and all you have to do is download that font onto your laptop and then you have to add it to final cut pro because I don't like the fonts that were in Final Cut Pro. For example, when I would do like a green screen where it looks like it's recording, and if I wanted to like say recording iPhone footage, I got the VHS um, font that looked closest to that from a website and I was able to use it. So I will definitely insert how I add fonts to my videos. I will insert that now. Um, so yeah, fonts are definitely a major thing uh, to be able to elevate. Uh, there are different ways you can uh, change the color in your fonts. I love adding outlines ar uh, around my fonts, so that's something I do. Uh, also, I noticed that the more like sound you add and the more like graphics you add and just there are little things you can do to just kind of keep an audience or a watcher engaged. For example, when you insert a text, I like to add the pop sound effect just to kind of just, ooh, you know, like a word came up and it just added a sound to it. Like I love doing that. Uh, if I want to go into a next transition and I do the slide effect, I have like a swoosh sound. So it's like really fast and it has a swoosh and it just, it just helps bring that video to life more. Um, if I'm talking and then I start getting super excited and like, oh my gosh, girl, check it out. I'll zoom in, you know what I'm saying? Um, there are things called Ken's Burn. I taught my boyfriend how to use it and he loves it, where you can start to fade in and it will fade in now. And I look so cute. But yes, that's Ken's Burn. Um, so again, you're gonna need to just really be able to play with Final Cut Pro. If you wanna know where to convert your videos, I use MP3 Converter and it's normally like the first link at the top. I'll show you now. Um, keep in mind, these websites are not the best. So again, I would put in whatever video I want to either have the video in the, in the YouTube video or if I wanna have just the music. If I wanna just have the music, I do MP3 and then I insert the link and then it converts and downloads. Now when it, you hit download, it jumps to another tab and it opens another tab. Exit that tab out because that's screaming virus. So if you don't wanna deal with that, then don't, but I do. I have never had really any issues on my laptop. So just keep in mind, but I also love that website because I'm able to go to the MP4 section Put in a link for a video I want to have in my actual YouTube video. And let me just tell y'all, I love it. It's really convenient and it's great to have um, a website that's free and allowed you to download stuff from anywhere. Um, when it comes to music, I have learned recently that you don't want to go on YouTube to look for music because, okay, first of all, if you're really trying to get into YouTube, you really wanna make money off of it, you have to keep in mind that uh, you don't want your video to get demonetized by the music that you're playing. So if someone like Rihanna or Beyonce you put that song on your video, it's gonna get demonetized. Or is it monetized? I don't know. You ain't gonna get no money from the video because you are using a song that someone else published and has credits to. So I highly recommend to go to SoundCloud um, and there is a way in which you are able to uh, see uh, how you can find a video that's easy to download. And I will show you that like right here. I have a lot of good information I'm giving you all. I hope you watched the whole video. If you did, you're a real one. So yes, uh, I definitely love using SoundCloud. I've learned that it really helps with like not having to worry about your video getting demonetized. So those are kind of my tricks when it comes to editing. I highly recommend when promoting a YouTube video 
use all your social media platforms, especially TikTok right now. I feel like that is where I get the most followers from and I don't even have a huge following on TikTok. But as you know, videos can just go viral for no reason. So for example, I just did my Amazon haul and I created my own little video solely for TikTok. And I did the, the trend where it's what you got versus what you wear and I saw that trend on TikTok and I did it. And if you had your YouTube already linked on your TikTok and that joint just starts to do numbers and someone goes to your page, like they're going straight to your YouTube. Like, and nine times out of 10, if they're seeing videos like every week, they're gonna wanna subscribe. So just keep in mind using all your social media platforms. My friend Melvin put me on to using Reels on Instagram and my first Reel I did had like 3,000 um, views. So I definitely recommend uh, using these platforms that are not just YouTube. And then if you feel comfortable, ask your friends to shout you out. Like, it takes a village, okay? Don't be scared, like, hey girl, teamwork makes the dream work. So I definitely recommend like, getting your friends involved and supporting you, and if not, do collaborations. Collaborations can really help. Um, okay, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is creating your thumbnail and your title. So I use Fonto to create my thumbnails, and the measurements is 1280 and 720, I can't forget it. But I love Fonto, it's on my phone, and it really helps with uh, knowing exactly the size it needs to be for the thumbnail. It allows you to add uh, text, it allows you to add uh, photos. And like I said, with you know adding additional texts that are already, that are not on the particular app, you can do that with Fonto as well, which is really dope. So I have my own section of my personal fonts that I took the time to download. So again, Fonto is amazing. If y'all want a video on how to create a thumbnail, I got y'all. Uh, I hope you all enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if y'all like these type of videos and y'all really want me to break down how to edit a video, I will. For you all because <laughs> y'all my people, like I rap with mine. So that was everything. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.